are the ingredients? ingredients? What are the ingredients you're talking about? These ingredients are, seem to work okay. wonders. Yes, 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 yes. I will tell you about something. Forget about profit. Just forget about it. Be a green business. Because you know what green business suggests? It suggests that people want, people need you. Welcome, Midday. Thanks, thanks, thanks. How are you today? Good, man. Um, you know what? I think, see, weekends in Lagos are tough to plan, mm. all right? And that's that's what it is. It's just tough to you plan. You haven't had weekend, have you? See, I have long weeks. Long, okay. So my weekends are then longer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's yeah. the problem, yeah. 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 You're out during the week, though, aren't you? No, no, no. I actually, I actually don't drink during the week. You don't drink during the week. I actually don't drink during the week. But you go out in Lagos during the week. Not really. Because I work late. There's just this odd guy meetings, just invited me to Bolivar too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on, a weekday, on a weekday. It was in a weekday. Oh, uh, on Mon- his house. Monday Mondays. night. Oh. No. So I mean, occasionally I do that, but that's not that's not that's not <laughs> Is Obi's house still in Bolivar? No, 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 sorry, no, no. it's at um, Hard um, Rock Hard Cafe. Rock, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, I mean, I do it once in a while. That's fine. But that's the only hour that I was. <laughs> See, I forgot. Oh, sorry, let me preface this. I forget the last one. <laughs> ah, I like this guy. I like that. Right. <laughs> Forgetful mind, fam. Ah, I forget a lot of things. So it's, 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 oh, you, oh, oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, no, I do, I do go out. Actually, no, I don't go out, but I, I can go to Obi's house once because I like the vibe. Yeah. It's the only place I think, regardless of week or weekend, that you get that particular vibe. Hmm. Okay. What's the vibe then? I've been. I've been. I haven't been to an Obi's house. Um. I think I've been once when it's at Bolivar. Mm. But it was too crowded for me. Oh, you haven't mm. been when it's a hard rock. No, 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 no. No, it's chill. Let's go on Monday. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Really? It's December. Yeah. Birthday you gonna soon. come? Or this Monday? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I, we'll figure about it. We'll figure yeah. About it. <laughs> yeah. So, so the reason why I like it is it's not a club. It's not a bar. Mm. Half of the time, you're not even dancing. Mm. Okay. You're just sitting down and just drinking, vibing. Okay, I like vibing, that. I like that. And there's, and it's just you and tons of friends on your table, chilling. When they play on my piano, some people stand up, vibe with it, and then say, but it's just chilled. Mm. Mm. Um, I've seen, I've seen videos. I think it's very crowded. That's what. That's I my thought. issue. Yeah, but but so it is crowded. But um, it it's good crowded because it's not crowded that's in your space. It, the oh. whole the place is crowded, but your mm. own sort of area is not crowded. Oh, yeah. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, we shall see. Yeah, I don't know what I'm campaigning for. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but it's the only place that I I and, and because. I, like I said, because I don't go out on week on mm-hmm. weekdays. So mm-hmm. for me to go out there, it's just because I know that I can go the there vibe. and I can just... I, literally, I'll be there for two hours and just sit. And you are like, next Monday, I can come back here because I'll just sit and okay. just be chill vibes. Mm. Even though then it makes Tuesday tough. Yeah. yeah How what? do you guys do it after, after Obi's Let me give you guys just... Okay. I'm about to hear. <laughs> yes, so, you take. So one... Maybe a few months ago. Um. Okay. Preface. So I work for a company called Endeavor. I hope they're not that trouble. Anyways, I work for Endeavor. He's very comfortable to work with a company at all. I work for Endeavor, and and like we invest in tech companies, right? So mm. like we're on the investors, so we're supposed to be serious. Mm. So when we hit tech, it's like oh, should be wearing t-shirts. <laughs> jeans I don't wear t-shirts and jeans <laughs> really no I wear full on suit mm. every day on the weekdays no, no 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 only like when I have like engagements oh, but yeah, even yeah. on engagement tech people like if you like look at even like the big guys mm-hmm. um, when they have like engagements whether locally or even internationally like when you're on the stage they will still wear like t-shirts and jeans and they're speaking yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, but on this side it's like you can mix it you can find those are wet t-shirts but I wear suits because see like I said, I'm shy, right? Yeah. So it like just helps. But even on the investor side, it makes because you have to show that you want to put your money in the right places, right. Mm. In the right places. Yeah. And so, 
Um, so we so we we invest in tech companies globally, like in forty countries. Amazing. Um, and so, like, we are seen as serious minded people. Mm. Yeah. And most importantly, if you look at the tech space, either locally or internationally, there's a lot of startups. Mm. Uh, but there's what we focus on is called scale ups. Mm. And the difference between startups and scale ups is that there's two things scale ups are trying to achieve. One is um, creating jobs for the market. Yeah. And then two, building economies. What that means is like making you wealthier, making you wealthier, mm. making like <clears throat> the general general public. Startups can't do that because startups mm. are, you look at startup teams, like maybe four or five people, maybe even eight to ten. But like they're not the, they have to get through a certain stage for them to not make an impact. Mm. So if you look at like the big guys in in sort of Nigeria today, let's say you look at let's say Florida Wave Pay Stack, like you can imagine the ripple effect. Mm those companies have yeah. and the lives of the general public. And so we focus on the later stage guys because in different markets, you have... The, the way to think about it is this, right? In every market, and which we focus on emerging markets, in every market there's like the Silicon Valley guys, especially if you're like in the Silicon Valley guys, New York, whatever, whatever the case is, you already know that you're going to get support because you're white, because mm. you're American, because you're British, whatever the case is. But l- Africans traditionally, at least no matter how smart you are, as a tech bro, whatever the case, like you wouldn't get that support system. Mm. And so we felt like let's focus on emerging people that traditionally wouldn't get that yeah. Um, visibility and so that's what we focused on and so we did that across 40 countries globally wow. yeah so it's like and there was about 20 let's just say 25 plus so i have a question for you yeah uh, for endeavors actually and and kind of investing in african startups do you feel like most of these african startups are not turning in a profit okay um to answer your question shut up because i won't bullshit no they're not wow but VCs don't <laughs> invest for profit at the beginning. Mm. Please, if you can edit this. <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning, because if I give you money, mm. I tell you, pitch me an idea. And when you pitch to me, if I am in VC, and I'll try different types of investments. Hey, God. <laughs> <laughs> there's money from VC. There's money from private equity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's money from angel investors. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you run a startup, like, see, I'm selling you business now. <laughs> Be careful who you collect money from. Mm. If you're a VC, hey, God. Mm. <laughs> you're not, we're not investing in you. No, that's, okay, you know, I'm lying. That's not true. We're investing for you to make profit. Mm. But profit is not seen short term. It's seen long term. Yes. So you can run for five years and not make profit. Yeah. And it's fine. It doesn't like make us not invest in the next person. Because yeah. the ethos is that we would invest in 10 people. Only two people would make us and then, but then when they make money god damn yes. it that's why there's tech bros now mm. because those that made money ah they are boiling you know? so do you do you think that this african tech ecosystem is a bubble no it's absolutely a bubble but the thing is it doesn't even matter whether it's african or not it's always a bubble regardless so this is globally invest knowing that it will crash so would make money, but the make money is 10x. So imagine if I had, see, there are some people. So imagine if I had, let's say, let's say even 500, let's say even take $10,000 mm. and I invested it five years ago in like a pay stock. So pay stock exited maybe two years ago now. Mm. Just had to give them $1,000. Probably have like, I'm not making numbers up, but mm. I'll be popping buzzers in Zoya now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that, that that's the thing. Mm-hmm. So it's that avenue that you can put money in. Because there we can as a Nigerian, there's a few investment vehicles. There's real estate, there's your bank that tells you put money in stocks, whatever, and there's like bonds, whatever the case is. Tech is the only place you get, where you can get astronomical returns yes. yeah. that you're not thinking about. Mm. But if you're an angel investor, it's a bit tough because you have to be careful because it's your own money. Yes. But if you're ABC, when you're raising funds from... And, and okay, let me think about... Let me explain this way. So there's VCs... and sorry, venture capital firms mm-hmm. that in, invest in Africa mm. primarily. There's two types of VCs. as those that are Africans that have decided that, look, they want to advocate for Africans to get money mm-hmm. and they will go and pitch to Americans, Europeans, whatever, and say, 
give me money. Mm-hmm. Let me invest on your behalf and you get returns. Mm. Right? There's another group of people that are VCs that are investing all over the world and like, ah, maybe Africa is the next best thing. So let's focus on Africa. So there's those group of people. Now, when they invest in Africa, they then think about that. Okay, so when I'm giving, let's say I run a VC firm and I'm going to invest in a few companies in Africa, mm. right? Now, if you're a Nigerian firm, you do have levels because Nigerian firms are seen to be, they have the easy market because of the population. Mm. Um, they have probably a higher buying power. So it means that whatever innovative business you're thinking about, they're willing to do because they're in so much, the benchmark is so low that anything you do that moves them up, they're probably willing to, to buy into you. Mm. And so what that means is that they would really, they will be willing to pay you mm-hmm. for your dollar. However, if I'm investing in you, I'm not investing in you as a VC firm is numbers. So if you think about like Facebook, for example, or Twitter, let's look at Twitter before mm-hmm. Elon. Facebook is probably more commercial than Twitter. Yeah. All right. Is it, what does it mean commercial in what way? Revenue generation. Revenue, Revenue generation. Okay. Yeah. So there's more marketing, there's more PR, there's there's even beyond that, there's even more ad. Yes. Whatever. Um Twitter's probably like one of the biggest non-commercial firms globally. Yes. The question then you then ask is: so this people that invested in Twitter, what are they gaining? Because for the longest time, Twitter didn't have ads. Mm. Like it was just a community that had numbers. And the way we see think about it is that if you can grow your numbers, eventually, whether it's five years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever the case is, you would eventually like bring back those returns. So when this is informing you, they would invest in you first to say, grow your numbers, mm. which then means that you may not have profit. Whatever business you're, you're doing, yeah. let's say you run like, a studio and you want to like commercialize it and you want to like rent it out to people even if you're not making profit mm. it doesn't but there's, there's an African mindset that you have to make money but you have traction and that's, you have traction mm, that's what they ask and you. growth yeah. and that's it so let's say you you grew from I don't know 100 customers to and, and I'll tell you what we think about there's 100 customers to 500 to 1000 to 1500 what as a basis we think about is that Oh, this company is going at 5x. Mm. 5x is not your revenue. 5x is your customer base. Mm. So we make projections based on that. Mm. And we're like, shit, this co- if, this, if, if she's consistently growing at 5x, mm-hmm. it means that she's about to be 500,000, which means that she's about to be 1 million, which means that when she eventually gets to 10 million customers and we just throw one ad in the middle, then <laughs> <laughs> you boost it up, mm. right? Now nah, that's VCs. So VCs don't invest. So you don't have to make profit. But a lot of Africans, because of our upbringing, think that we need to make, like we're even shy to pitch because mm-hmm. we're not making money. There's a difference between revenue and profit. Yeah. If your revenues are growing, mm. let's even say your costs are high because you are marketing, marketing, marketing. And so your revenues are shrinking because mm. you're trying to push your, your, your sort of business out there. But if you get to a point where like you're growing, but you're even if, if you're everything, like it's something I will not say, but it's okay. <laughs> like a lot of companies that we invest in are not profitable. I was gonna say that, but then again, like how do you um, how do you kind of attract investment? So if you if someone has a startup, <laughs> so what are the ingredients? What are the ingredients that you're talking about? These ingredients are, seem to work okay. wonders. Lately. Yes, yes, yes. I will tell you about something. Forget about profit. Just forget about it. Be a growing business because you know what growing business suggests. It suggests that. People want, people need you. But it's it's a global thing because obviously I come from an equity research background. You have value stocks, you have growth stocks. Mm. Tech stocks tend to be within the growth Private stock. equity mm. people. <laughs> <laughs> tech, tech companies tend to be, I mean, look at the likes of the Airbnbs, the Teslas, like these people, companies, even Amazon, mm-hmm. although maybe it was deliberate, they didn't turn a profit for mm-hmm. quite a while. So mm-hmm. that's what, what you're saying. Well, people think that those companies are making profits. Yeah, people assume well, that they were. It's an assumption. That's, it's an assumption. That's why I brought assumption. it up because, yeah. like, because it's, it's kind of, uh, you, you got to understand that a lot of these companies are not making any profit. Now and they are. Now let me explain are, something but, yeah. as well. If you see a cheat code, don't invest because you like. If you think it's making money, not because, they're make, even if they're not making profits, but it's growing. Mm. That shows that, see, if Shalewa is able to sell me a business and they're making money, 
if she's able to sell it to me, maybe she's able to sell it to you. Mm. Mm. So what that means is that there's a need. Mm. Forget about whether she's making money. But if she's able to convince me to take my money from zero, mm. let me give you guys just oh my god, too many just <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened yesterday. I ordered. F- Are you allowed to get like corn? Like, yeah, corn yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I ordered food yesterday mm-hmm. to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered food yesterday. I was like, see, I can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered food yesterday um, to my house. And do you know what? And I did. So you can obviously, you can do like payments before or after. Yes. Because now in other countries, you really, it's before. Before, mm. yeah, It's before. But because of that, now it's you can't. So it's before now. So I did, I, I tried before, but it didn't work. Mm. Right. So I did after. I said like delivery on payment, mm-hmm. a payment on delivery. The guy brought my food. I got there. I got downstairs. I was paying for my food. Yeah. Do you know what the guy said? He said, mm. ah. So he op- he said, ah, okay, which one is your food? Uh, I said, ah. He gave the wrong food. <laughs> I said, wait, why? He said, ah, I have two packages in my packet. <laughs> no, but this is what he now said. He said, oh, somebody ordered 10,000 now worth of food in this same estate. Mm. And the guy said he doesn't want it anymore. Mm. I said, Why? He said, ah, the guy ordered the food. I said, ah, you people delay this. See, see, that's, see, running business in Nigeria is tough. Because wow. in America or UK, you can't do that. Yeah, you you can't order that. food and then get it and you say you don't want it. Are you mad? There was another company. This happened to another company, um, a, a big company. And they told me that they were delivered to a woman in Nikoi and she rejected the food because of how the uh, dispatch rider was dressed. Oh, wow. That Shit. she thought he looked d- d- filthy. <laughs> and she... <laughs> Nigeria is a case. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's that whole payment on delivery thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, wow. it's, it's but but you Shout can't. Out to Ease. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, right? You can't run a successful business. See, despite the fact that you and I, and probably you, have different experiences, mm. you can't run a business and not have that option. How are you going to grow? Yeah, you're not going to grow. Yeah, because yeah, I do my conga deliveries. I order from conga grow? every day. I do payment on delivery. You have yeah, to. Yeah. So there's customers like Shalewa who would pay, mm. but they feel probably more comfortable on delivery. Yeah. Doesn't mean they won't pay. They feel more. So, anyways, I'll get back to you. So the guy now said, ah, the guy paid 10,000. Uh, so, me, I paid for my photo of 2.5. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I got a photo of 2.5. The guy said, ah, okay. <laughs> Will you buy it? <laughs> <laughs> you want to buy some of those food? Wow. That's wild. The guy said, will you pay for it? Will you buy for it? And I said, but why are you selling the food to me? Return it back to... Mm-hmm. Cause, to the shop, okay. yeah, yeah. And then people may not know how supply chain works in Nigeria. So, mm-hmm. it's delivery companies. Yeah. Whether it's Jumia food, Bolt food. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know who else to like, whatever. Yeah. The point is, there's those guys that run the restaurants or whatever the case is. And then there's delivery guys who ping onto those guys mm-hmm. and say they will do deliveries on their behalf yeah. and they get a cut mm-hmm. right and then that's how you guys how it gets to you so there's so whatever money you're paying for delivery fee right it's been shared by multiple people by yes. the restaurants and by whoever the is delivering PLs, yeah. and let's be god bless you three mm-hmm. pls and three pls get a cut yes. of whatever you're paying for it and let's be clear three pls are not like they're not Oh, sometimes they're like organizations. Sometimes they're just individuals yes. that have Okadas. Mm. And they say, oh. So just for the audience, what, what do you mean you have? Third-party logistic companies. Okay, third-party yeah. logistic Yeah, mm. so I can be... God, I don't like to... Like, so I can be a guy from Bono State who comes to... <laughs> Shout out, bonus date. <laughs> I don't want a guy to come for No, and you know what? I still live in Lucky Face One. So I have a lot of like house guys that are my yes. people. Shout, right? out to Shout out to like house out phase one guys. Oh, uh, I let me talk about house guys quickly, right? Yeah. There was, there was I, I went to I went to the beach the other day, and obviously my area there's quite a couple of them there, right? So. I was overhearing a conversation of one of them. <laughs> this guy was like a normal. I was like, I was insulting the guy that came from Togo. He said, "The guy that came from Togo to come and host in Lagos." <laughs> he was just it's cutting them out. I was like, "There's levels. These guys are cutting. They have their own people that they're subordinating to, like dead ass." <laughs> 
there is levels to this. There's shit. levels, there's man. There's God. There are levels, bro. I was laughing, man. Because, now. so let me tell you what happened yesterday. This was not even just a month ago. It's yesterday, which is why it's fresh. So, the guy said, ah, oh God. So, this is me guessing. And so, I did, I tried to do the payments like, before it because I don't like, see, let me tell you. To all my friends that run businesses, catering firms, the reason why, sorry, I don't patronize you is because <laughs> I grew up in a system that, see, I'm, let's go back to, I am shy. Mm. I don't like to call. I like to text. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not the people's person. Same, yeah. So which means that if I can do everything True without... Tech. I'm like, tech, like mm. yeah. I am your guy. Yes. I'm your first customer. Trust me. I will pay you to not talk to a human being. Facts. Because That's human beings. You know. I'm ah. saying. That's why you congo every day. I don't want to call. I don't want to go to the shop. I don't want to Human do beings. Yeah. And do you know what? I like Hunger. Yeah, I'm telling you. I like Jimmy. As, but I like those guys. Do you know what? Because there's some of our friends, probably your friends as mm. well, that do the same things as these guys. Mm. But it's the reason why you patronize them. Because mm. you don't see... Ah, so you want, you want convenience. This life. You just want convenience, basically. I just want convenience because if I keep talking, I, just, I don't even know where I'm going to. But the point is that there's another company called Maka. Okay, I've not heard of them. It's called Maka. It's doing the same thing, Conga, okay. Jumia, whatever the case. But for fashion, I think girls shop more Instagram than guys. Let me ask you. On Instagram. Nigerian Let me ask you. So my, I'm, I'm the most simplest What guy have you bought ever. on Instagram? Nothing. Nothing. Because we're from the Why? UK. What have you bought on Instagram? Because I'm from the UK. Nothing I as well. I don't do that Instagram shopping. I bought a rug for my house. but it's only On by, Instagram? Yeah, it was because by, by force. One. What else? Um, Nothing else. I, I just go get my girls from London to bring my stuff. I'm from the UK. We have our vendors. Mm. I, all this Instagram shopping is a Nigerian thing and I don't like it. I don't trust it. And WhatsApp it. shopping. Do people do WhatsApp, WhatsApp shopping? They, Instagram it's and WhatsApp. A it's, it's a thing, thing in Lagos. It's like, what drives the well, vendors economy. When, when I sign my business. And they make money. Yeah, they, they make do. money. And they don't have a website. Money they, WhatsApp, they prefer <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, they prefer Instagram to having a website. Yeah. Whereas I'm still more of like a website girl because of, in London. Over Instagram. Yeah. I already bought one thing of Instagram. Mm-hmm. But I hated the process. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> what, communicating back communicating and forth. Back like, and forth. No, it's like, why are we... Why? Yeah. And I need to do payment on delivery. I'm not transferring you any money before. Somebody... I told you... And the next day, they will message you. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, sir. <laughs> she said they block you. Yeah, they, they, they block you. They'll be blocking people out here. So. Because, because they feel like I feel that like negotiate price. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but they don't understand. It's people that are willing to pay. Yeah. See, Instagram wasn't built... For that, it but wasn't. It's, it's now adapting to that. Adapting mm. to that, and yeah, Nigerian. Yeah, because of and okay, let me ask you guys: Why do you think Insta? Because let's be clear: before Instagram, there were platforms that were set for like you knew where to go to, to get a rug. Okay, you knew where to go to get. Why do you now sort of? Sure, it is yeah. Instagram's algo with the ads. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm. Since I moved to my house, ah, let's talk about the I- AIs. The algo is A1. A1. When I'm looking to buy a rug, it lets me know. When I'm looking to buy all the, my white and gold furniture, it starts plugging it to me. It used to annoy me at first. I'm like such an invasion of privacy, mm. but now it actually adds to my efficiency because I can just save it to my collection and see. Okay, I'm looking for this. So it's the algorithm that's actually made in- shopping on Instagram more palatable, or at least creative. But the AIs only push it to you. It pushes it that's to you. Yeah. The transaction is not made onto you. No. You pay. The because you might the if whatever the vendor doesn't make money. Yes. So what what takes you over the line from it's been pushed to you to then pay? Because on Instagram it's even harder to pay. Yes. If a vendor reaches out to me on Instagram, or I reach I have too many just I was thinking about um what's his name is down now? Um Bitcoin. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A few yeah, yeah. A, a while ago. And I just followed this babel. <laughs> that does look quite interesting. No, no, no. no. Those crazy. girls are set up. <laughs> Those girls are set up for men like she told you. you. She told you that she does big quite You follow that? Nah, this is not right. <laughs> Even even the I whole problem of Bitcoin app, I, I still can't even trust it. <laughs> I just followed this babel. And do you know what? It was followed because, you know, when you're like, the AI is like, you just keep switching. And you're like, someone says, ah. Because we all know Bitcoin is down now, right? And we're like, okay, so maybe now is not a good time. But some people can tweet and say, oh, now is a good time. And she was making this case of whatever, whatever is now a good time. I just followed you. Next thing I saw a message from her. Oh, you followed me. 
Hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. So you are interested in Bitcoin? Like I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I went goes. I want to be hearing this from so that when I'm talking to you, I can ah, this person said. <laughs> I believe for information, not to wait. No, to buy. Uh, but Mitte, I want you to tell me the end of the um the delivery story. Did you get? Oh, the- <laughs> ah, that's a solid story because it was yesterday. It was really? Really? Ah, okay. So let me know, round it up real quick. So <laughs> <laughs> if you don't laugh, I'm the problem. <laughs> so the guy said. So I paid for. I get. I get downstairs. The guy says, "I right, take your delivery." So I paid two five. I yeah. from Boca Hot. Okay, okay. Right, I order from Boca. I was like, oh, two five, blah blah. So I paid for it. So he was so and they have the the, the nylons have the brand. So he was like, oh, it's one's yours. I said, okay. Oh, somebody ordered another thing. So I wasn't sure which one's yours. I said, uh, why? I did not know that delivery people used to order two at the same time. I thought it was just oh, one at the same time. Wow. Yeah. So the guy now said, Oh, I said, oh, why do you have to? he just said he wants to tell me something? Huh. I said, ah. anyway, I paid my two five, yeah. As I paid it, the guy now said, oh, somebody ordered food of 10K. When he got to the guy, the guy said he's not paying him for the money. Mm-hmm. He's not paying him for the food. But he wants the food. No, the guy said no. that, oh, he delayed the payment. So he ordered from somebody else. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. From somebody else. So the guy now says, oh, he was begging the guy, I beg, collect it. And I said, why are you begging someone to collect food that they said they... He said, oh, the money, the tank is taking, is going to be taken out of the salad, which is going back to 3PLs. Mm. That, so 3PLs are salary. not... They're not run by the restaurants. Mm. So I said, but why is it taking out of your salary? He said, because it's going to be tagged as late delivery. Mm. And that's your... Because they don't know where you went after you got the food. Mm. So you might... I mean, I mean... I mean, we're in Lagos, so we know it's people are mad. We're going to go and do three deliveries before they go. So they don't have, so the, the 10K, so the guy, I swear, eh, if I was, if I had more money, you give to <laughs> that, that food had like four stacks of food on his, on his delivery guy. He had four stacks of food and it was 10K worth of food. And the guy said, oh God, you have paid for your two five. I mean, can you buy this food from me? Yeah. You guys can, can you buy, buy the extra food? Can I buy the extra food? And I said, why? He said, oh, because it will be taken out of his salary. Ah. So, so wait, oh, let, let, me, let, me <laughs> let me tell you where this is going. So again, I says, okay, can you buy this food? For oh, you. Because, so it's, okay, this is how I think we always work. Like, you make deliveries successfully, you get paid. You don't make deliveries, you make deliveries unsuccessfully, it gets taken out of your salary. Oh, God. Oh, and who yeah, are three yeah, PLs? Yeah, so three PLs are they are companies that have mm. what we call like a fleet, mm. a fleet of like. So I have multiple bikes. So I'm Shalewa. I have money. Ah, came from the UK. <laughs> eh, I'm, I'm, I'm cruising. I can like tell. I can buy ten bikes and say you know I'll hook up it up to whether it's Jumia food, boat food, or court mm. food courts. Mm. Yeah, and I'll do deliveries. Mm. Ah, I know I'm consistent. I'm going to make. X, X, X money and do my numbers it makes sense but it's also the other guys that came from the north and they only have one bike but they know that they need consistent delivery guys wow right and that was who one of these guys was mm. and so but they they have a they, they have see cash flow so they know that if you're junior foods I'm always going to get 100k a month regardless mm. for successful like successful deliveries. Mm. So I just so, I, so it might it's my best interest to if you tell me ah somebody ordered from Aja mm. come and pick up if I make that I make part of my my money whatever the case. Is. So you are guaranteed the 100k but it's minus 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 all the issues are going through yeah. Exactly. That's really yeah. sad, yeah. Now there was one guy oh this ASAP shops Oh, yeah. Shop. Anyway, so I'm not going to talk about their food for now. Let's talk about this. Well, I've had, what yeah. happened? We'll talk about their food later. They Anyways, get slated, yeah. So, this, I was so hungry this day, right? I was literally like Marvin, right? My tummy, I could feel it moving. Like, you know, when you're proper That's hungry. That's me right now. So, <laughs> and I wanted the food because ASAP Chops is meant to be at least quick food, right? Quick food. Get to yeah. you, as well. So, lucky for me, I, I, I just took the phone, called him over, and I need, and I'm only all like Aston and Jordan when I'm hungry. I need something quick because it's yeah, very quick to make. Guy. Yeah, yeah, because it's very quick to make. It's like being in your house in less than a second. There's no complication, right? So this, 
same issue with this <laughs> delivery guy. So long story, it came came in twenty minutes, which was fine. Oh, wow. Okay, I waited, so it came mm-hmm. twenty minutes. But then the guy just as soon as it came, I was so hungry, he just gave me a, a bag. So I didn't even check what's in the bag. I just took it and I went upstairs. When I went upstairs, I opened the bag. I saw Asum Jollof. I saw um, <laughs> Panini Ham. I saw Bang Asum. Oh, I saw Malt. Your favorite. Ah, like you the, were gas. I, I was like, oh my God. So then I went to Instagram and I, and I put on my stairs. I was like, if someone delivers the wrong food to you, do you? And they're calling you. Do you pick up the caller and give it back to them? Somebody said, no, that's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was calling me. I just saw, I just saw the phone ringing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know the first thing. I thought it was people calling me. I've already eaten that <laughs> 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 and you love banger soup as well. So I know you were happy know, that day. I was so happy. I, I literally ate half of the food already. I was just thinking, yeah, That's boy. Problem. The guy kept on calling me. I didn't pick up the call. But it's the fault of the companies not have processes in place to 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 Absolutely. to work against that. Yeah, um, yeah, true. To the, wrong. the only company I can vouch for because I'm like midday. I'm just a big e-commerce queen. The only company in this Nigeria that can vouch for that reliable is Mano. Mm. Mano get you using them. Your, I, get, I use them really, and they get their maximum within twenty minutes. Mano are incredible. Really, they they have a good reputation outside of Nigeria, but in Nigeria the operations are fantastic. So if you need things within 15, 20 minutes, but it's only supermarket food though. They, 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 like, yeah, they don't do they don't food. do fresh food fresh for now. Food, yeah. But I'm sure if they ever went into that space, they'll, their operations are airtight. Really, uh, yeah, but it's it's um it's Glasses not easy. Is coming up. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's not yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy being like a. Uh, somebody like us that doesn't like the human process, calling restaurants, yeah, calling yeah, this. Yeah, I, it's no, it's no. not easy. Really, in so they, is, a human, is there a human process in Manu? Like, is that you ever seen? Like, no, things? that's why I love them. You okay. you put in your order, and, and I'm telling done. you within 15 minutes. Well, let me minutes. ask you a question. Do you think that? So, if I'm running the business, like, do, do I need to care for longevity? Yeah. Why? Do you think there's more of Jimmy you or ha- less of you? Jimmy Food has a 1.9 star rating on Google. Why? Because of their reputation is so poor. Their, their success... But why is it poor? Because sometimes you order and for two hours you're waiting and they'll tell you it's cancelled. Okay. In my, in my head, if I'm ordering food, I know it's coming in 30 minutes. I can distract myself for 30 minutes when my food comes. Mm. What I don't like about th- them is though you'll wait two hours and they'll email you saying it's cancelled. You mother... I was, yeah, I'm, oh, past, that's I'm yeah, passed yeah, out that's on the sofa. Yeah, yeah, that's so. I'm literally about to... I'm literally about to fly into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, my body's already shut down. I thought this food was coming and it's not coming. Yeah, that's, that's the right. issue I have Does with that still them. happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a normal day for Jumia. That's one of their biggest flaws. Bolt food, they, everyone, all of them have their biggest strengths weaknesses. Yeah, but I, yeah. You know, up to today, I can't order from Jumia. They, like, I don't know, it's something about like the tech not... You guys are casting Jumia so much. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is, boy. It is what it, it is, boy. Is what it is, me, I hey, mean. shout out to the stock that went down. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I low blow. I was in, I was, <laughs> that's a low blow. I was in London, yeah, and then I was like, oh my god, the next Amazon of Nigeria. <laughs> I was getting excited. I put my money in the stocks. <laughs> two weeks that's later, <laughs> two weeks later, that shit went down. I said, fuck this shit. <laughs> this is the new Amazon shit, bro. You know what? Because you put your money. <laughs> Uh, I, said the Amazon shit, uh, no, 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 no. I can't wait for Amazon to get here because um yeah as much as I'm a conga babe right now they've they've done me wrong recently. Can I say something? I was on the phone no. to them. I said I'm your top customer. If you don't respect me right now, I'm but you know that it doesn't benefit the <laughs> you and I's. Really? What? What? Well, Amazon. Not? Yeah. How? Mm. Amazon doesn't benefit us. What do you mean by that? Okay, explain that. Yeah. <laughs> so the concept of Amazon is not new. Yeah. What makes Amazon what Amazon is? Because they have money. Mm-hmm. They don't have local knowledge. Mm. They absolutely have zero experience. In in Nigeria and Africa, Africa, even in Africa, yeah. Yeah, yeah but Africa. they were tapping into the resources. Though. Well, like, why? Why are they able to? Because they got money. And they got like, exactly. Money. Like, if I got money, I'll so, buy but, but but the How is talent. the ecosystem going to grow? And how are the more of you who are privileged to then inspired those that are not privileged sorry i moved back to nigeria because for impact that's why mm, yes yeah. um and if it's for things to be successful they could have you know one thing that happens in technology because before maybe seven eight years ago it was that people were replicating things that were in other markets in nigeria mm. yeah and he failed drastically mm-hmm. like they say silicon valley of whatever english Mm-hmm. I don't want to call it names, but whatever those places that mm-hmm. they're calling. Mm-hmm. And so he failed. But 
if you want companies to succeed in Nigeria, you need to have local context. Yes. For it to be successful. Facts. You have that. Mm. Amazon doesn't. Do you know what Amazon is going to do? That's why I asked him, why is Amazon going to be successful? It's not because they're smarter than Nigerians mm. or whatever. The problem is that they're going to hire people like you. Mm, they're going to hire yeah. Nigerians. How are they able to hire? It's not money. It's money, but it's, it's the same thing with every sector, though. Like that, and I, I think that happens. Worldwide. I mean, you make a good point because Jimmy was Oyinbo guys that came here, and the reason why they're struggling is because the Nigerians showed them absolute yeah. pepe, and they're that's so from a first hand source. Yeah, so they upset. they literally, you know, came. A few companies have had that it's issue. I can't talk about here. Yeah, there's some stuff you can't say on air, but even me too, I have first hand knowledge of that too. Really? So I understand you. Maybe I have a bit more faith in Amazon because I already know they're here. I already know some of the things they've already been doing. So, and and also, I was that person that used Amazon every single day in the UK. So, and there's some industries that are good. So, whether it's film, Netflix, yes. Amazon Prime, there's some industries that are good. Um, maybe I want to apply for this. I can't even say too much. But the point is that look, you have to be very careful about. Anticipating that whatever you're thinking that another company is going to provide, mm. there's not, there's not, there's not another individual that wants to provide that same thing to you. Mm. However, you don't trust him enough to provide it to you. Mm. So, this trust is a big factor then. Trust is a big factor. Why do you, why are you waiting for Amazon to come? Because, like I said, Congo. Because they have money. No, no, well, no. No, they have, they have money to put those establishments in place. However, if, yeah. you, if you thought beyond money, You'd give them some slack if they fucked up. But it's not the money. As a, as someone that literally every single day puts in an order on Conga for something, the only place that Conga is failing to me is the returns process. <laughs> Let oh, me tell you what happened ah, to me. Because ah, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the front page. No, 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 no. Because literally, I, had to, ah, I, I, added, I added their senior the person on LinkedIn. <laughs> I added the senior person. I'm about to send him an email after this episode is done. No, yesterday, I was furious. Oh, yesterday. Furious. You furious. No, seriously. See. <laughs> I agree with you. Yes. Shout out to Continue. return policies. No, 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 no. Let me tell you why. <laughs> right. Let me tell you why. So obviously, like I said, every single day without fail, something is coming in from Congo. People around me have even noticed it. The issue I had is, for example, I spend X amount of money on on a pots and pans. The pots and pans come. There's <laughs> lots of pans. The frying pan has no handle. <laughs> And you're trying to tell me that seven days return policy has F your seven days returns policy. Really? That's over. Yeah. What the hell is yeah, that? Yeah, Amazon, Amazon is very good at return policy. They were so good at the time, people were getting free PlayStation 4. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I keep going back to you. But you know, that's not tied to profit. They have the money to expend. Yeah, Congo doesn't yes. have the money Amazon has. Exactly. Yes, yes. They have the money and that's to why I'm that. saying that the reliability, Congo as well, for example, if I order something, most of the time it takes two days. But really, like for example, I'm waiting, it's been seven days now. There's two things. I'm waiting for a whiteboard and some other things. It's still not come yet. Amazon cannot do, Amazon will be able to re- tell you it's coming by this date. But you know, they didn't used to be that way. Congo. No, Amazon. Yeah, they started somewhere. Yes. And, and Congo too was starting somewhere. But the problem somewhere. is yeah. that... We as ninjas that are moved back, we are holding ninjas yes. to the, the same standard. That is a factual. Mm. That is very true. And, and, as, as, as and that's a true. problem. Yes, that's true. Because these guys are hustling. Yeah, yeah, they are. Let's be clear. If Conga could do what Amazon they would do. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know if this is true. I saw on LinkedIn that apparently the, the father of the CEO was saying how he, every month he was giving Conga 400 million naira loan into company loan, which oh, I thought was I very, was alarming. Mm. You know, 400 million Naira, almost what this rate at 1,000 to one is 400,000 yeah, pounds a month. That's yeah. that's a lot. So- But for every money, rumor to be out there, it means it may, it may not be 400, but yeah. there's something- There's cash. Yeah, there's cash. A lot of yeah, cash yeah, is yeah. being burnt for that business. Yeah, no, no, it's, it, but as like I said, these businesses don't really make profit. So like, they have to burn cash. 100%. They have to burn cash. And that's why I said, <clears throat> we have to be a little bit. We're holding an engine company. The same standard of companies have hundreds of millions. And there's two problems with that. One is they raise money from a different source. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And to the types of people, Americans have more money than Nigerians. Let's just look at um, landscape mm, generally. They do. Demographics, That's they what do. I was about to say. I, but I Nigerians, think, don't, Nigerians yeah. are so picky. Africans are so picky about the money because we don't make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Simply speaking, it's English. How much money do you think I make? <laughs> <laughs> We don't. <laughs> we don't. No, so what? So I was actually about to also say that I was about to say I don't think the middle class is enough here. There is one. I don't know people that say there isn't one. There is one. I don't think it's enough here to 
give these companies the revenue and the profit that they need. It's mm. the lack of the enough middle class. Look at all these plazas in Lagos Island. They're all empty. Who yeah. we don't have a middle class to be able to go and to, go and to be it, shopping yeah. in this I plaza. I was watching one of you guys time. shows, right. but I was like, exciting. <laughs> What's his name? Is it Larry? Yes, yes. <laughs> Drinks for NG. Shout out Drinks for NG. I think I wasn't going to say who I was. <laughs> <laughs> that was the a great I loved his show. <laughs> and he made a comment that made sense. He said, see, the fact is, regardless of like the packaging or whatever, a lot of businesses are struggling. Mm. Right? Mm. And he said, if you see a someone else is like running give them a hug mm. like, <laughs> <laughs> that's deep that's deep that's deep i know you I can relate to that right you can relate to that it's deep yeah Go ahead. Like, it's tough mm. regardless let's forget all this startup thing but anything <laughs> <laughs> the first year we made no cash <laughs> Nigeria's hard. Is so, hard. Let me give it all my 20 years. <laughs> Yesterday I went out. <laughs> my friend, I went out with. You know what he said? Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, he said, this. He said ah, I want to go. <laughs> I want to go buy a bottle. <laughs> he wants to what? Buy a bottle. <laughs> he said, ah, because they didn't buy a Remember, I said he's expected for his appreciation. Does he not want you next to me? For me to make the money to buy the bottle. <laughs> I'll shout, shout out to our champagne, only drink champagne. Uh, yeah, also. You know what? I'm not to say I came late, but. <laughs> I think what? Like, you know, I was texting you. I was like, oh, I was going to come out late. I didn't ask the 12 30. Do you know why? Because we're still deciding whether we should pay for the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you have to contribute for it together. <laughs> Outside is getting tougher, boy. <laughs> so the pressure is getting worse. <laughs> <The pressure. laughs> and let's be clear, this guy I said, ah, <laughs> he's not paying for it. He said, ah, okay, go space. They don't appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> You man say you're some quote, of the failures. Open quote, close quote. He said, <laughs> see, today I'm not going out. <laughs> he said, because take it, God. they assume that when a bottle is, is a given, so yeah. you can't even buy the bottle. You're on your own. Yeah. So yeah. you have to buy the bottle. As I said, you're coming at 12.30. Yeah, facts. He said, ah, we're going out though. <laughs> so are you coming? <laughs> hmm. So we bought bottle. I was just looking at him. Hmm. I thought you said, <laughs> <laughs> the pressure we handle you shout out to the viewer <laughs> how do you want to throw someone without bottle <laughs> oh, I need the champagne boy, <laughs> hey, boy. Ah. that's how you bought bottle yes that's the scene that's how you bought bottle yes and you and you know you can't do that you're like it's a guy I thought you were <laughs> <laughs> no it's not easy for you men though nah, that's nah, why I'm hiding it's... myself in the house bro <laughs> I was like, man, you mad me when the carpet is rolled out because I ain't coming out to spend my money. <laughs> That's the place. Yesterday was empty. Was <laughs> so the streets are empty. So mm. December is... Oh, I'm born in December. Yeah. Oh, shout out to yes, December. Yes, December, babies. December, yes. Yes. That's why you look... Bevs are very expensive. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like conversation. <laughs> because you have to do birthday. You have to do birthday. Like 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 oh, trust me. Like trust me. It's not about you. Exactly. Trust it's me. It's in the care about you. You may not only have birthdays, but mm-hmm. your own birthday. Your yes, birthday come. definitely. Yeah, so we went out yesterday. Party. It was good vibes. Mm-hmm. But let's be clear. If you're watching this, mm-hmm. know that... Ah, we are good with no pain bottle. We ended up paying bottle for it yesterday and we went out. But let's go back to our gist of yesterday. Mm. So, ah, so the guy said, ah, let's be clear, when you're buying food that you didn't order, let's take away the fact that, oh, you don't know where the food is coming from. Let's leave that. The guy now, like, showed me, I was like, ah, um, somebody, and he showed me his phone. He's like, I said, see, why are you showing me your phone? It's not me that went at the food. Mm. He said that he wants me to buy the food off him. Mm-hmm. So you remember I said that he was like, which one is your food? And I said, how are you asking me? Who is it to find? Why are you asking which one? And then he had another line on that stack of food. Yeah. <laughs> like this. So he then said, oh, the food is 10K. I said, why are you pitching? Why are you pitching food of 10K to me? <laughs> oh, he wants to buy the food. I don't know. He said, oh, he said, ah, okay. This is what he said. Let me just... This is why I explained three PLs. There's companies, but it's individuals who run businesses that they will deliver on the 
on the restaurant we have on a platform, right? And they'll get caught from the delivery because they're getting multiples. So as an Okada man, it probably makes more sense, especially in Lekki, like, they've banned mm-hmm. um, like Okada yeah, yeah, officially. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it makes more sense for him to bench onto a boat food, food mm-hmm. court, whatever the company is, mm-hmm. because I would get consistent deliveries. So he came out and said that, oh, he, he came to deliver the food. The person said, he has... Yeah. That he was yeah, it late. was too late. Yeah. So that's when I said, "Oh God, this food is stinky." Hmm. I said, "Ah, me, I only order food of two five bro. So did you take it from him? Ah, it was negotiation, no. So the guy now said that, "Oh, can I buy the food of him?" I said, "But I don't want your food." <laughs> so do you know what I now said? I said, "Ah," he said, "Oh God, please have this food," and the guy showed it to me. That food, whoever ordered that food, <laughs> terrible. That food had, I think. I say I think because the guy was just speaking, but for me to not look like I want to be on the you no know, see when you're in Lagos, you have to be on yes, have leverage. I'm not interested in your food, but I want to buy it. Oh, <laughs> so you're guy, trying to negotiate the exactly. Food. Yeah. yeah. So the guy said it was I think it was chicken fried rice, two turkeys, but it, anyway, four stacks of packs. Whatever went inside those four stacks. The guy now said, Oh, it's thank you. And I said, Oh, I'm not interested because I'm I just want my food. The guy now said, Ah, a big. Please help me buy this food off me. I said, okay. Um, I didn't even know the price at this point. I said, let me pay you 3K mm-hmm. for the food. Let me just be going. Because I already paid for my 2 5 mm-hmm. 3K. I said, ah, okay. This food is thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, ah, you are looking at it as thank you to 3K. My guy, zero. To 3K. To 3K. The guy said, ah, okay. I said, okay, there is talky. There is blah, blah, blah. He showed me his phone. I said, see. I will never look at your phone because it doesn't interest, <laughs> doesn't interest me. me. I don't, know what's I don't even there. know what's in there. Let's let's take away the fact from the fact that I'm buying food that I don't know where it's coming from. Exactly. Yeah. It's a random, but because of Nigeria, we're like greedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we always want everything. We always want it fast. So the guy now said, "Oh, I should buy it from him." What did he say? He said it was ten k. He said I should move it to seven k. Now buy it from. Him. I said, ah. So me, I'm there thinking about, I bought two five. So he said, oh, I should first pay him for the two five mm. <laughs> before I did the other one. So I paid for the and he's like, ah, oh, I should pay extra stuff. I'm like, ah, but I'm not even interested in this food though. So I'm how much did you pay? I didn't buy the food though. And I'll tell you <laughs> why. Because at some point, I started to feel like, I don't even know where this food is coming yeah. from. The guy was, do you know the guy and I said, see the guy and I said, oh God, if you don't pay me 9K, I say he ended up back. I'll be eating the food of it. <laughs> <laughs> you said, Oga, okay, see, see, you're not doing well because if you're not, if you know, if you're not bait 9K, I'll eat the food I'm mean, crying. And for a second, I was imagining this guy crying. <laughs> eating the food I'm crying. Yeah, because funny. they wanted to take it out of his salary. And I said, why is it? He said, because they would target us late, late. That is no, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. So, Ah, I was like, ah, sorry. I, I, I said, please, it's the food. Because I can't, like, I don't even, I don't even know the, but let's even take all the fact I don't even know where the food is coming from. Mm. So I didn't think about the food. Though. No, it's crazy. But you, you also mentioned earlier that you moved back to Nigeria for impact. So just, oh, yeah. let's tell our listeners a bit oh, about yeah. your background. Uh, yeah. Context. Sorry, I've been speaking English. <laughs> um, all right. So I was born in Nigeria. Um, my family is <clears throat> British. Nice. My mom's family is British. Okay. So, um, I was the only one that went to the US as a, let's be clear, Nigerian Yoruba first child. Nice. Yeah. Right. So, all my siblings went to the school in the UK. But oh, you know really? that thing of, you don't know, but there's something about like Nigerian men and fathers and this back in that generation who like, their first child must do what? Law or, yeah. or doctor. They must yeah. follow a pathway. Yeah. So I went to school in the US, all my students in the UK, and they're still there too now. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm the only one that sort of went there and is back now. Where in the US? So I did my under, so I did engineering. Wow, my undergrad. Yeah. I may not look like an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> but I did what, my undergrad. What engineering? Civil. Civil engineering, okay, nice. I yeah. Civil engineering from undergrad. Mm-hmm. Um, I got my first master's um, in engineering and technology management. Okay. Because I wanted to do project management. I, I felt like ah, 
the internet excited me. I was like, skyscrapers. Mm. I want to build skyscrapers. Wow. So I wanted to build. So that's all I wanted to do. And then I did it for a few months. I was like, shit, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> so I applied to Harvard and I went to Harvard. Amazing. Yeah. Love this black excellence, African excellence. Yeah. So I went to Harvard and I was moving from engineering. But I always knew I was going to go into like entrepreneurship sort of because both my parents are Entrepreneur. entrepreneurs. My nice. dad is in real estate. Nice. My mom is in PR consulting, nice. public relations. And so she's like, like, so I, my, my dad made a joke once. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever repeated this. He said, ah. and I don't, and now I'm wondering who pushed me to engineering. See my dad or my mom. Because my dad made a joke and said, ah. Nick says, I'm like, oh, you like wearing suits. But I don't see you wearing suits. Hmm. He was trying to say that he sees me as running my own business, mm. wearing what I want to wear, not what somebody told me mm. to wear. That's what he was trying to say. Mm-hmm. So anyway, eventually I went to um, Boston, moved to Harvard, and I got my second master's then in, in business. Amazing. And that was like my movement from engineering to business. Mm. And so why did I move back? I guess, which is the whole point. I moved up because I was working in 2014, 2015. With a company called um, Harvard Innovation Labs. Mm. Harvard Innovation Labs is curates Harvard and MIT. Um, so Harvard and MIT are like, like beside each other. Yeah. Right. They're beside each other. And what happened was, let's be clear. You see, see, let me cast people. Why people are successful because they have the resources, mm. not because you're smarter. Do you know when I was in school, they were paying us to come up with business ideas mm. they wanted to fund yes they, us, they wanted to pay us ten thousand dollars this is back in 2014 wow. to just come up with ideas it didn't matter what it was mm. like so this is how um alums of successful schools come in mm. they have a what they, what's the call that thing um what when you it? have a um alumni network or? no this is the alum there's a there's a bank Mm. That they, alums have to put money oh, in. Oh, the um, endowments. Endowments. Yeah, God bless yeah. you. Endowments. Yeah. Yeah. Endowments. So they have to put the money yeah. in endowments yeah. that has to be expended. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, it has to be. So they figure out as Harvard or whatever school it is, figure out where is the endowment. So yeah. each year, maybe as for entrepreneurship, they say they want to spend five hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. So it doesn't matter what coming. They, they have to they spend have that to, money. Yeah, they have to. They have to spend the money. Um, and so that's what happened. And so they were curating, like, to the U.S. forced to in school, in class. One day they said, oh, they're coming to pitch you guys to, like, come up with a company. So me and five of us, we just say, ah, let's start a company. Mm. So that's how, <laughs> that's how Facebook started. That's how those, because they have endowments. Like, mm-hmm. They are pushing grants mm-hmm. to you guys to start companies. And so that's what happened. And so, um, um, so I then decided that, look, I didn't, so I, I, to be fair, I did work on one of the endowment projects. Those things are not successful. They just spend the money. <laughs> so anyway, but then I then worked, worked for the investment firm who was pushing out the endowment mm-hmm. called Harvard Innovation Lab. Mm-hmm. And it was for Harvard and MIT students. Nice. Um, now, why did I move back? So when you're in Boston, what happens is you're pushed with a lot of cash. Mm-hmm. There are two things that happen when you have so Africans, our problem is not cash, mm. is you have an idea, but how do you, so this is, and this is what I do at Endeavor now. Like you have an idea, but how do you cover that idea to a business? So it's sustainable e- ease business. Ease of doing business is hard. Ease of doing business is hard. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in the US, what we got to was there was a supply challenge, which means there was more money than ideas. Mm. Yes. So nobody should cast me, but so, we started having like Tinder of this, Tinder of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what that tech innovation story oh, we were talking about. My <laughs> days. We're waiting for which other kids. The next of this, next Tinder of that. Tinder for dog owners, Tinder for black people, Tinder for Indians. I love my experience there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what happened. So I started to work work with company. Oh my, I love them. Let's be clear. Mm. But they, I guess they go to where I am today. But they started to mm. have like. There was more cash yes. than business. So then you as 
let's even say you left Nigeria to come to America to like, just study. Mm-hmm. But then they told that they'll give you $10,000 mm. if you came up with an idea and put four people together. Yeah, yeah, you said you not come up with an idea. Yeah, of course. I've got it ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> if, you're, if you're there, let me know. Yeah. And so that's what was, that's what was, and that's what is still, let's be clear, that's what's still happening. Mm. But, um, but that's where things that you don't expect, because in Nigeria, we think ah, there must be a problem. In America, they don't. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Things are good, and you just realize, ah, there's the need for Facebook. Yeah, yeah. You may not know there's a need for Facebook. That's really, that's an advanced capitalist system. That's yeah. why. And then because, there's enough middle class to, to fund those kind of mediocre, mediocre lack of problem businesses. Yeah. You because you don't need, yeah. in Nigeria, in Africa, we need a problem to find a solution. In America, you don't. Because there's a lack of middle class lack to prop up yeah. those mediocre exactly. kind of yeah, businesses. You guys, oh, I didn't know we needed this, but now we realize, ah, we need it. Yes, mm. yes, yeah. That's what happens in America. And mm-hmm. so that's what happened. Um, and so eventually I was working there for a few years and I was like, look, <laughs> there's two companies I was on commercial and there's two companies I was working and I was like, ah, Nide, what are you doing? Mm. There was one that was a, um, so it was a way, this is where I knew that ah, from the hustle I came from to this, could make sense. Mm. There was a company that was focusing on you go to a concert or a football game, whatever the case is, and will tell you where to sit. That you can find people that are sitting that are that have liked the same things as you. So wow. you know where to sit. Mm. Huh. And that was a mil- I think it was like five million dollar company. Valuation. Yeah. Wow. So it would tell you like if you want to do concerts. So it was a which was Tinder for I think concerts or <laughs> was it Tinder for concerts? <laughs> <laughs> no, this covers a list of all this crazy. Yeah, so it was, and then the sec and I was like shit. And then the second one <laughs> so that offed me. So it was America's like they have money they can spend. And it was a when you want so apparently people had you figure people have problems that you know there. People had problems knowing which restaurants to go to. Mm-hmm. And they were going to a new city, mm. which is fair. So they would recommend the restaurant to go so that they would meet like-minded people. Mm. So in your previous, like, um, um, I guess, internet record, it would use AI to track what you like, what you didn't like, what you what you moved past, mm. what you spent more time on, and they'd recommend your new city where to go to. Wow. That's wow. Wow. Um, and so that's what I was working with. Mm. Um, and I was like, what the What's fuck it? is this shit? Yeah. <laughs> Why do I care? About- yeah. Um, Interesting. So, so what did I start doing? I started reaching out to alums that moved back to Africa. I was like, wow. guys, I'm thinking of moving back. Mm. Moving that's back. an incredible that's story. Back. That's, that's incredible, back. though. That's, that's how I moved back. He, he thinks that people that move back to to. And you, bro, you think this as well, don't you? I'm just trying to put it <laughs> no, all <up> me. <laughs> I learnt it after you said it, but he says we're mad. People that move back. No, I, I and I did watch your videos that you said that. Yeah, and you... I agree. I agree. Because <laughs> <laughs> it could, could make sense. It was. It could make sense. Be a mad could make sense. <laughs> no, I think you're mad because, and <laughs> you might try to find gold in like in in the middle of a desert. <laughs> in the middle of the desert. <laughs> you know what I think? I think the. Two types of people that move back. Mm. I think everybody pretends to be one. Okay. And it's only because I'm where I am that I think everybody pretends I can move back for Nigeria or Africa. That's not true. 50% of people that move back don't move back because they care two shits about Nigeria. And the reason why you figure is that ask them what what are they doing now that they move back. Okay. It's not for Nigeria, it's for themselves. Mm. Well, people pretend. They moved back for a bigger cause, mm. but it didn't. Mm. But it's easier to sleep at night. <laughs> so, well, it's easier to sleep at night when you live in Nigeria. Mid- no, when no. you when you tell yourself that when you're you moving back yourself, from the country, uh, hey, from the country. Mid- because <laughs> then it's easier for them to buy a ticket. Let me not lie to you. So let me tell you when I move back. See, I spoke on this English. <laughs> I didn't move back straight to Nigeria. I told you my family's my my siblings are in the UK. I moved to the UK. <laughs> really? We're in the UK. Coventry. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I did. Because I was like, ah <laughs> I don't know if like, you're going to do me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. I moved to Coventry. First. Yeah, yeah, I moved yeah. to Coventry before I came here because I was like, ah, is that I'm tired of America or is that is this cause that I'm claiming? <laughs> 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 that was in battle. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, I'm a realist. Very, See, I've always yeah. been a realist. Like, and so I moved. I moved to Coventry because my my sister was there. My brother was there. 
I must come and channel. I was there for, I think, about a year. I was like, ah. She's this saying, trust me, COVID is yeah. in yeah. Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah. And 80 million of my dad was in, was in Birmingham. I guess, ah, I love, hey. Shout out to Birmingham. Really? <laughs> you love Birmingham. Okay. The you know, like, you guys are like, yeah, I mean, give me just about Birmingham. I, I, no, I don't know. I like Birmingham. I feel like London is, is I feel London's really dry. So any other city outside of London is dry. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, how that's my mind uh, is. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, no. So Birmingham, I, Birmingham no. is just there. It's just, it's just there. there. It's too small for me. It's <laughs> <If you're> lie. <laughs> All I know is that two things. Is the girls are fine in Birmingham. Yeah. I just feel like what happened to the girls? It's just fine. It's like, it's yeah. girls that I kind of like in Birmingham. So, and then, uh, Manchester's also kind of coming up as well. So well, these, but that's that's the about it. They're like, too quiet for me. Mm. There's a lot of Asian com- Asian community is quite huge in Birmingham. To well. me, all these all this places, London is already dry enough. All these cities. And the whole are of UK has too... been. Oh, it's just, just all, all no. All it is is just one main city centre, and everybody just that's the only place people to go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain needs stimulus. It needs like stimuli. Like ah. I need I need action. So any like it's just too dry. Mm. Yeah. So I think let's be clear. I have a British passport. Mm. However, I could care less. Mm. So, once again, shout out to Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Birmingham. I think, to your point, the UK is very trouble. But I don't think people move there for a better... Ugh, to say better is too general. But like for a... Happier life. I think mm, that's the word. Mm. We, we moved there anything. for a better life, but not for a happy life. That is good about the UK is just education. Right? I like what he just said right now, it's which important. is very factual. Say, what yeah. is it? Say that again. Yes, what you said is very true. People don't move to the UK for a happier life. They move for a better life. Yeah, exactly. and that better mm. is actually a facade. It's subjective. Yeah. Because yes. once you're exactly. in the cog, you realise that you are a slave to the system and you actually become a more depressing life. Mm. And that's why, look, right now, I'm even so proud of some of my friends. They're all starting to move to Dubai, move mm. to other countries, like both black and other races. And that really makes me happy because they're all waking up. One of them wants to go to New York. They're all calling me like, you left at the right time. You did the the right thing these are like friends from all different demographics mm. so it's the, the great britain's on its knees it's on its way out and you know it, and human beings deserve to have the better and the happier and once you have money in lagos it gives you that and yeah, also yeah, africa true. it's true. a playground so true. it allows you to work and play which life true. is about that yeah. the uk the play is, is really hard to play mm. you know it's very hard mm. to play but you know what you get at least used to do and I don't have the blue passport yet, so I don't mm. know. But um, like <laughs> you see access. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lot of access stuff. Anyways, I think it was more of an access. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the UK people though, because yeah. you guys need to move out. We've got to wrap this up anyway. But before we quickly wrap it up, one last question. If you were the president of Nigeria, what would you do differently? <sighs> I'm not smart though. I don't know. You wouldn't do anything. <laughs> I'm not smart. No, what would you I bring do? Bring down the prices of bottles in the club. <laughs> <laughs> if I was president of Nigeria, what I do? Do you know? Okay, let me. I should. I should do have an answer. So I think that the fundamentals of any ecosystem, Nigerian, African, whatever the case is, is education. Mm-hmm. The reason why the guy yesterday did not sell. Oh, did I tell you how much you got to? And he said no. Nine k. He said yeah. no. Me, I thought I was going to pay four k. Yeah. He said oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The reason why is he said he was okay and happier. Um, eating Nike food and crying. <laughs> then you get what's in 4K. Because if you think about it, we are a poor country. People keep saying we're not. Yeah, I don't Why know. do people move back? Oh, they lied to me when I was moving back. It said Nigeria has money. It has money. It doesn't. It has money for privileged people. Yeah, it has money. The reason why you think it has money is because you think you can access that money. Mm. If you didn't think you had a chance, you would not move back. Facts. Let's be very clear. Facts. And even you as well. That's factual. The reason why you move back is because you think you can access that very, money very that true. they claim. Mm. Yeah. You would true. not. Mm. If I thought I had zero chance, let's be clear. I went to in the US. US is probably the biggest place that has yes. people that move back and right then they're applying for a student visa. There's no intention to come back. <laughs> yeah. So so there's I, would you say education that way you kind of focus on if you were like I would focus president. on education because um, it's the bread and butter of any mm-hmm. system. Mm. Yeah. Like education is where it's at. If I was say, let it's everything I'll do. Um, in the local, even from primary school level, 
see, it's not about it being free. I don't believe that free is good. Maybe because I grew up in a capitalist system, whatever the case. But I've also learned human beings. And I've, I've learned that human beings don't appreciate what they don't pay for. Mm-hmm. Even if it's 100 naira. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's 100 naira. Yeah. 100 naira that the, ma- the madam that is selling food, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever it is, is, is paying to her kid going to school. But I would make sure that that um, system that supports her child to go to school is good. And so education is the bread and butter of every ecosystem. I agree. Because yeah. let's be clear. Who is going to be the next person? Let's even leave this. When is it? 2023. I don't even know. After this year, mm-hmm. even the next one, next one. It's not going to be you. I don't mm-hmm. know. Except you can't be. Plugs. <laughs> I, I might be. Ah. You can't be. I've my mind. You I can't be. You can't be. You, you need to be born. No, no, no. You can't, no, you can't say that on the fucking phone. I might be. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you read, if you read it, you, you can't be. If you weren't you, born you, in the no, country, because, you can't because you be. have to be. So I've read the requirements. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. And so my point is, the next, like, we see people that move back. You are just deceiving yourself. And I'll tell you why. Because people that move back think that they are smarter. Mm. more educated that complex does but you Some can't control that. the system yeah, yes system facts the system. you can't yeah. facts yeah. and so who is going to be the next president it's someone in our network it's somebody it's not somebody in your network it's somebody know. that is like, already embedded in the system that is now going to be in your network he didn't start from your network he didn't start from my network he didn't start from your network he started mm. from some village in whichever place roadside he, ground roots with yeah politics. but yeah. he has grown up to someone that you you are considering to be in your network mm. yes, why yes. why are you considering him because yeah. he has a name no because it's accessible yeah i honestly believe with my, net, my network i've already met the next president Anyways, and you will know we can wrap that yeah, up it's there. possible yeah yeah see you next week guys thank you Mide, for coming thanks on thanks so much thanks, yeah. Yeah. it was really a blessing to have you your wisdom <laughs> have a knowledge. <laughs> have a knowledge. All right, thank you. Hey guys, we've got some good news for you today. Fantastic news. Yes, because I can't wait. we've been hearing everything you've been saying mm-hmm. and we've settled down over here and now we are proud to announce the IMB concierge service. Whoop. Yeah. So our concierge service really would help you guys to support you with any problem you have in Nigeria. If you want to start up a business, you need some research done, IMB is here to help you. If you want your properties to be checked up on, we can also support you with that. Just anything you need. What are the things that IMB concierge service can do? Personal shopping. Woo! You know, if you've got real estate investments, you need someone to check. Have you got a shop here that you're managing from abroad? We can go and check it out for you. Do you want us to buy you a gift? There's so many things that we can do because we know it's so hard to find people to trust from abroad that's true and you can reach the imb service on yes. our whatsapp number yes which is plus two three four nine zero four five four nine nine eight four six